It's the idea that, that gender violence isn't just the murder and rape of women. It's also about the larger culture that gives those kinds of violent crimes space to grow. The Voice of Men Breakfast is a day where thousands of men from out our community come together and say, yes, I'm part of the problem uh, and I want to be part of the solution. Thetacare stepped in, we held a plunge where we invited about 80 community leaders for a day to go out into the community to learn about domestic violence. We worked with the different agencies and other partners in the community to launch the first breakfast of Voices of Men about 10 years ago, and it's evolved into this. Women have been doing this work for years, and I think one good question to think about today is how can men contribute to that? Statistically, it's important for those of us who identify as men to bring these conversations not just in this space, but to bring them into other spaces that we have access to. This breakfast is a daily affirmation for me. All I have to do is reflect on the stories I've heard, and it forces me to stand up and be a better community member and a better person. Uh, just trying to stop it at its base, so hearing the jokes, things like that, um, if you question it right away, the people aren't less likely to go out and do the big thing, so if we can stop it early. I want to be strong in a way that isn't about physical power or dominance, man up. I want to talk to my father about something other than sports, man up. I want to be who I am, man up. My only intention is to inspire and to engage men and ask them to align themselves with women like me and other women who have been doing this work for so long. Specific to this event, uh, ThetaCare's mission is to improve the health of the communities that we serve. It makes me very proud to be part of ThetaCare knowing that they sponsor an event like this because it is focusing not just on the, the physical and the clinical health of people but also uh, you know, that social responsibility we have for improving um, overall health you know, within our society and the communities and emotional health as well. It's really a catalyst for change and it helps people to change the way they think and when you change the way they think you change the way you feel and you behave and ultimately the way you act.